when you do look at this draft, how do you think it's going to break down with that first pick, Dion? Because every time I do it, I keep looking at it. I keep finding myself taking interior offensive line in that first round just because – I, I, I just think that's what I don't think they're going to resign Jonah. I do think they'll bring back Graham, and obviously Frank said he's staying. But I think you need to get that guy that can start day one at left guard, and then possibly fill in for Frank if he decides to hang it up in the next year or so. Yeah, I don't I don't hate that at all. I think man, I'm still like so open on that spot because like one side of me is saying, okay, don't expect that guy to be a starter. Now, if you're doing it on the interior offense line, expect him to be a starter because where they're getting taken at the end of the first round, that guy should be a starter. But for a lot of other positions, it's like, okay, if I took a, an edge defender, will he start? Maybe not, but can he play a role there? Probably. You know, he could be a role piece rotated and out. Like that's kind of the range you're getting to if they don't move up and you get to number twenty nine. So part of me is like kind of on the fence because I'm like, even if it's a cornerback, depending on what cornerback it is, is he like you have to play him day one, or could he maybe just not be ready yet, depending on the, the certain cornerback that you go get. So I'm really open between a lot of things right now. I mean, interior defensive line, I haven't been blown away with a ton of guys that really fit for me at that spot. But I actually love your interior offensive line take. If Jonah doesn't come back, I think there's a lot of dudes that, whether they play guard now, maybe they played center, even tackles that could slide inside. I think there's so many flexible players that could fall in that range in this draft. Like, I would love to add to that. And I think for us, what – makes the guard position so darn valuable. And speaking of the list that Easy brought up, I had that at two. It makes it so valuable to me just because of the flexibility that they add to this offense. It's yeah. like you can't look at this team and say we match up well because, man, they love to run it this way. It's like now you have to deal with everything because they'll bring everything to the table. So I love the interior offensive line talk, and uh, I'm, I'm pretty much – I'm pretty much open to anything, honestly, at that spot. It just depends on if I'm expecting to get immediate starter or not. And for a lot of positions, I still kind of want to hit it in free agency, like for a cornerback, for example, just in case that he's not completely ready right away if I sit at 29.